the NUC-12 enthusiast has been fully revealed. Oh wait, wrong image. Let's start again. Serpent Canyon is next in the enthusiast NUC line and has been leaked by a member of Chinese site Baidu. This mini PC will feature a 14 core i7 12700H processor consisting of 6 performance cores and 8 efficient cores for a total of 20 threads. If you compare that to the 4 core 8 thread Tiger Lake chip found in NUC 11 Enthusiast, it's a massive upgrade. The 12700H is clocked at 4.7 GHz and features an impressive 24 MB of cache. On the graphics side, the RTX 2060 6GB mobile chip found in last year's release will be replaced with an Intel Arc A770M GPU featuring 16GB of GDDR6 memory. Hilariously, that's more VRAM than any desktop RTX 3080 Ti. The Arc A770M GPU is Intel's flagship mobile graphics chip. But how much faster it is than the 2060 mobile is anyone's guess. No one's benchmarked it yet. Hopefully it's a large leap in performance as well. I've got to say, Serpent Canyon looks much nicer than its prototype images. And of course it's got its familiar skull logo and vertical stand. It is fatter, with volume being bumped up to 2.5 litres total. You'll be happy to know the skull logo is replaceable, in case you want to use that B-Link logo instead. And you can place this NUC horizontally as well, thanks to its rubber feet. I.O. is also quite generous, with two USB 3.2, audio jack, Thunderbolt 4, and SD card slot on the front. There's four USB 3s, Intel 2.5 gigabit LAN, another Thunderbolt 4 port, audio jack with optical, HDMI 2.1, and dual DisplayPort 2.0 on the back. Looking at the screws, it will open the same way as the previous enthusiast NUCs with an Allen key. The images of the unit also show plenty of vents for airflow, so I hope this will be as quiet as the NUC 11 enthusiast, which was excellent in the fan noise department. Apparently, AV1 video encoding is supported, which is also good to see, and with its powerful specs, it should make NUC 12 enthusiast a nice video editing workstation as well. I was cautiously optimistic with the initial leak of Serpent Canyon, but now I'm really excited for this mini PC. It's looking like a big upgrade over its predecessor, which was the coolest mini PC I've ever gotten to mess around with. My only worry with this one is... Price. I expect it to retail for a pretty penny, since NUC 11 Enthusiast wasn't exactly cheap either. Anyway, with no release date yet, the wait continues. Let me know what you think about the Serpent in the comments, and subscribe for a review when it launches. That's all for this one. See you later, guys. Cheers.